I'm here with Jonathan Dwyer from Orbitz Elevators, and he has just won Gold Coast's most prestigious Young Entrepreneur Award, the Business News Australia Gold Coast Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award 2019. Uh, tell us, how do you feel? Overwhelmed, um, proud, uh, excited, uh, really, uh, a lot of emotions running through me at the moment um, because it's a, it's a special award. Um, I've got a very, a very close to the Gold Coast, very special heart. It's what, it's what made a life, I believe, for myself, what brought, uh, gave me an opportunity in life which helped give others opportunity uh, within all of its elevators. Uh, we're over 100 staff now, so that to me is, um, it's, and it's caught a lot of it, has come from the Gold Coast. It's, um, it's hard to explain the reasoning around, around this, but it is, a, it is a land of opportunity. And when you came to Australia, you just had a backpack and no intention to do anything like this. How did it all pan out? I know you just gave this speech to, to everybody here, but if you could give us a great summary of that, uh, the sort of rags to riches story, as it were, how did that all pan yeah. out? Um, well, I'm from, a, I'm, I'm from a town called Oldham, um, back in the UK. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a street town. It's a, it's a good, you're good to grow up. You, um, you get brought up uh, pretty tough on, on that side of things. And, um, and coming from that side, I'm still very, I'm very proud to come from there because you, um, you, you learn a lot in life um, coming from and then appreciate a lot in life when you, uh, when you don't have it and then when you all of a sudden get brought into just sort of when you bring yourself into a lovely unbelievable country like Australia and, and, a, and a place like the Gold Coast, it's, um, it's, it's another level you know. So, it's Gold Coast is so many entrepreneurs and unbelievable businesses, and so there's so many, so passionate. The Gold Coast is so passionate for young entrepreneurs. And it's so passionate for young businesses. You can see that through the mayor. You can see that through the whole the Gold Coast the whole, and the, and the stats on the place are, are just phenomenal with with young with new businesses and young upcoming businesses. Pretty incredible, and despite all that talent around, you managed to take the top award tonight. Uh, what was it about your your view of the Gold Coast and the opportunities here, and in Australia in general, that led you to start a company like Orbit's Elevators? Um, the opportunity was all more of the industry, and the pain points were actually in the, in believe it, in, in the industry. And what I did was uh, been able to create a model. Um, around these pain points which help then serve um, uh, two core competencies of uh, superior customer service and flexibility but then it's so important about creating a culture and it's about when you create when you're creating the culture you need the, be the best people you need to surround the best people you need to have some solid core values and if you you can you need to live and breathe the core values. You need to execute the core values. You can have core values on a wall. You can never say, oh, well, we've all got core values. But it's how you execute them. And when you're executing them, it's how you execute them and what's going to affect the client and also your people internally. And you can, and not everybody is going to come in and suit your core values. So it's you, it's you about understanding that and how you develop the people to be able to suit your core values. And not everybody fits into your core values doesn't mean that they're a bad person, doesn't mean that you're a bad company, it's just the fact that, that sometimes it doesn't match and there's nothing wrong with that. So culture is king, Gold Coast has got great culture, you know, there's a lot of passionate um, young people, entrepreneurs, aspires, there's, there's heaps of, we are, we've got 50% ratio of apprentices, we're huge in our apprenticeships um, and all of them are from the Gold Coast. So. It's a massive um, achievement for for Orbitz that, and there are now starting to come through. Um, obviously, with the support of the Gold Coast, which help um, fund the apprentices as well, so the government and, uh, uh, and and we can help. We do our own internal training with them. And I imagine that cultural aspect is more important still, and also more challenging still, as you expand nationally. You mentioned that you have goals to become the biggest in your industry in Australia. Um, what's, uh, what's the, what are the steps to achieve that? Yeah, 
are number one is don't ever forget where you've come from is like so you started orbits how did you start orbits to start with what was the point of difference as you're scaling up so important to keep control of that so when you start when you're keeping on that is culture the culture is one huge part of that when you're expanding at such a fast pace it, a lot of people say it's impossible to keep hold of your culture but if you're proactive with it and you and you we've, we're proactive we've got a department of people development and culture and, and we're good for holding focus on this we put people through development programs on this and we're an elevator company you know but we concentrate more on our people what a lot of our competitors do is concentrate more on the on their elevator on their model on their innovation mm -hmm. so we carry a concentrate on your people concentrate on your customers and concentrate on your suppliers and everything else will come nonetheless you do have a focus on quality and innovation and uh, we heard earlier about your deal with Hitachi yeah. uh, to bring that technology to Australia. Um, what's happening there and uh, what makes that different and a point of difference for your business? Super, super, super proud to be able to put our name um, with Hitachi. We went through some vigorous due diligence with them. They're, um, from Japan came over, China came over, there was Singapore, they all came over to rip through our business for two weeks and to see if we was the right partner. They looked at three other businesses already in Australia and they were, there was no match. They said as soon as they hit orbits, that's it, there was a match. So that was, again, a lot of it was on people. People people buy off people, you know, people don't buy off product, you know. People match with people, people get up with people. It's all about the people. So Attachi had seen that, they felt that as well. And that's what, uh, that's what helped to get us through that, but also our, the way we do our quality processes is um, and aligns ourselves with Hitachi was also one of the major major reasons. That one of the biggest um, biggest advantages for the Hitachi, the very the for our industry now, to bring in Hitachi and we're the first company to bring a Japanese product in. The two biggest um, products in the world are with Mitsubishi and Hitachi. All over Asia, you know, they're, they're unbelievable. They're known for the ride quality, you know, they're known for the reliability, they're known for the ride metrics, it's uh, the flight times. They're known more in the world for this. So being able to link yourself and have a trillion dollar global company, have a driving force behind you as well, is is something pretty special and something what's going to take all bits to another level. And this is even more interesting still when we consider the fact that elevators run in your blood, figuratively, that your father uh, was uh, uh, servicing elevators and your grandfather as well. Would you have to tell us a little bit about that whole idea of this being kind of your heritage and you uh, carrying on the legacy of, of the, the Dwyer family? Yeah, true. <laughs> good point, good point. Um, the, um, well, my father, I started when I was 14. I left school early uh, when I was 14. And um, I was in my dad's workshop from probably 11, 12. So he had his own, he had his own elevator business, um, and and he, he downsized that because he was getting early getting older. And then I eventually left from there. Um, and then my grandfather before that, he was um, uh, he used to work in the elevators. And then my father started his own business. My grandfather worked for my for dad, and then I was in there. My uncles were in there. And, oh, I was just feeling that there was just elevators all in the family. It was it was crazy, but yeah. But obviously, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't be here. Or I wouldn't be in such a place like this if it wasn't for my father. What he's taught me is um, is phenomenal, you know. And um, not just how to fix lifts or what it is, but just aspect aspects in life, you know. Um, yeah, I'm super proud, and he will be super proud. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people out there are proud of you, and we are so happy to uh, see you uh, celebrating your award tonight and your achievements, and thanks so much for participating. Thank you so much. Thank you.